it's help wanted everywhere. So there's tons of opportunities on there and you don't know what might happen. Megan Jones tells me she was stunned by how many open positions she found job hunting this spring. So many openings, companies are now boosting pay. Kings Island has just announced it is raising wages one to two dollars an hour as it struggles to hire 4,000 seasonal employees. Hardest hit, the restaurant business. Everyone in our industry is hiring right now. It's, it's actually hard to find people to work. Restaurant owner Jose Salazar is struggling to find chefs and servers for his three restaurants in downtown Cincinnati. Randy Reicheldurfer is facing the same fight at Newtown's Urban Grill in Maine. It's frustrating. You can't get people to, to show up. You can't get, you can't hire people. To find and keep good employees, restaurants have to offer more and more perks these days. Chipotle, for instance, says it is one of the best retention rates in the business because of its college tuition reimbursement program for many of its workers. The Ohio Restaurant Association blames three things. One, people still afraid to work in a close restaurant environment. Two, workers switching from cooking and serving to driving for DoorDash and Uber Eats. And three, unemployment benefits that often exceed the pay for some jobs. A lot of people were saying, why would I really you know, need to go back to work when I have this uh, federal and state support? You're going to have to look at this maybe a little bit differently in terms of you, know, you may have to do a hiring bonus. Restaurant owners are hoping the worker pool improves this fall as unemployment benefits and stimulus checks finally run out. Covering the rebound, John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.